Hi, I'm Rachel Johnson. I'm the CEO here at Cherryland Electric Cooperative, and I wanted to take a minute this month and talk to you about what we do as it pertains to economic development in the region. Cherryland administers a zero interest revolving loan fund, and we have been doing that for over 20 years. The way that fund is sourced, we essentially get a grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and then we have to match that grant. So we have to match that grant to 20% of the total grant amount, which we've been doing for 20 years. We have about $1.2 million in that fund, and as long as we continue to relend it, to revolve it into the community, we get to keep the grant. We don't have to pay it back to USDA. Over those 20 years, we have lent that money out to over 50 businesses, and we've leveraged it to the tune of about $5.2 million in investment in the community. So we really put that initial grant to good work in our community. Let me tell you a few of the ways that we've done that, because we're so proud of our borrowers. We've helped six different fire departments with ambulance and fire truck purchases, which obviously supports the entire community. We've also helped with important community needs, like when the Y was looking to expand their childcare facility, which we know is just an incredible need in this community. Continue Continues to be a need in this community, something we would look to support with future loans as well. And then we've also helped a lot of businesses get started. So let me just give you a couple of examples. When Ironfish Distillery was getting started down in Thompsonville, we were a part of their startup financing. When Farm Club was getting going out in Leelanau County, we were a part of their startup financing. Most recently, we helped Kingsley Local Brewing get going down in Kingsley, which if you haven't been there, I highly encourage you to check it out. Super cool place. Uh, in addition to that, we've done things like help uh, center ice. So there was a, a period of time when the NHL requirements for rinks changed and they were potentially going to lose the ability to host Detroit Red Wings training camp. So we gave them a loan to upgrade their rinks. And I was just over there the other day and they were looking forward to having the Detroit Red Wings here again this fall. So all of these things are just a part of the way that we're using those USDA dollars to invest in our community. And when we do that, we help create jobs. We help support small businesses, many of whom are members and many of whom employ our members. And that is just an important part, we think, of being a, a good part of this community and also supporting economic development in the region. A lot of times I get asked, but why do you do this? You should just be an electric utility, right? Well, I'll just remind you that when we got started, we were never just meant to be an electric utility. We were a cooperative and we were built to serve the needs of our community and to make sure that it, as it pertains to economic disparity, rural areas don't fall behind urban areas. And this is one of the ways we do that. But in addition to that, it's important for everybody to know these USDA dollars are earmarked for co-ops. The only way those dollars can flow into our community is if the cooperative is willing to participate in the program. And so I, I think we have a, a responsibility to the community that we're in to get as many of those federal dollars here as we can and then reinvest them and do good with them based on the needs of the community. Recently, we had the opportunity to access a new funding source through USDA. Unlike the old funding source, which is a grant, this is more of a pass-through loan. So the co-op is the borrower, and then we relend it to a single recipient, and then as they pay it back, it gets paid back to USDA. We don't get to revolve it. But we were able to access a larger pool of dollars through that program, and we used it to help Left Foot Charlie. They are expanding and basically have purchased a new production facility to expand their production. And they not only produce wines and ciders for themselves, but they also do that for several local businesses. So it not only supports Left Foot Charlie, it supports all the businesses that Left Foot Charlie supports. I don't have time to go into the details of it. It's a really exciting project, but I would encourage you to check out our most recent podcast. We sat down with Brian Ulbrich from Left Foot Charlie, talked about their project and what they're gonna do with the loan. And it's, um, it's, it's a really fun, exciting thing for our community. So I just wanted to take a minute this month and let you know what we were doing with economic development. A lot of times people don't even know that we have the loan fund, but it is just a, a, a very small piece of our business. It's a small but mighty title inside the farm bill. It's a small amount of USDA's total dollars, but we think we've really put it to good use in this community. And we're really, really proud of that work and, and, and very, very proud of the businesses that we've supported. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned a little bit more about the loan program. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me. You can throw a comment in the manager's blog on our website or reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn. I'm at Rachel on Energy, and I will look forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you next time.